how to create a marketing video to grow your brand or business. Well, in this video, you guys are going to find out. I'm Ben and welcome to Social Genie. We're a digital marketing agency which specializes in helping your brand or business grow through the power of video. Now, over the past few years, I've helped many brands and businesses create exceptional marketing videos to grow brand awareness and even boost customer acquisition. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys how to create an exceptional marketing video. I'm going to talk you through the planning, the process, how to storyboard the different camera angles in order to actually define all the practical tips you need to know to create an exceptional marketing campaign. So with that being said, let's dive in. Okay, so let me just level set for you guys. Let me set the table. Before starting any marketing video, you first need to define the foundations and what is the goal that you want to achieve from this video. Is this video to raise brand awareness for the client or for yourself? Is this video designed to generate new leads? Is this video designed for customer acquisition or to promote purchases of a product? Where will this video be? Will it be on Facebook as a Facebook advertisement? Will it be an organic social media post? Will it be on YouTube? Will it be on your website? All these factors you need to define before even picking up a camera and even thinking about actually creating the video. You need to define your goal and what will the output be. <clears throat> now here's a little pro tip which I also like to do and that is to define an emotional goal and I like to align that with the business goal. So for example, if our business goal is to increase brand awareness, we could have an emotional goal such as building trust or building authority in a certain niche. If our business goal is to generate leads, we could have an emotional goal to engage, excite, create a craving in the prospect in, in order to click and actually sign up for a certain newsletter, a free trial, etc. Now, the strategy I've created in order to plan advertisements and also marketing videos is called GAFF, G-A-F-F. -F. G stands for goals, which we've just discussed. A stands for audience. So will this video be aimed at cold traffic? So people that have never interacted with your brand or will the video be aimed at people on your brand social media page or people that have purchased a product previously? Then we go on to the third part of this, which is F, which is where is your audience in the funnel are they at the awareness stage the consideration stage or the purchase stage okay so now we've laid the foundations and set our goals for what we want to achieve with this piece of marketing content now the second major stage is where we need to plan and execute our video so for an individual piece of video content the first step is to choose a video style so there are various video styles that you can choose from. You can choose a presenter style video, which is like this you're watching right now, or talking head video as it's commonly called. You can choose a cinema style movie video where you have some sort of storyline. You can choose a raw social media content style, which might look quite natural. You can also use templates on platforms such as Canva, which offer little snippets of social media videos, which you can easily create without any editing experience. You could also have a product showcase video if you're trying to really showcase a specific product and even an instructional video and that could even be an animation. Now a whole separate video could be created on each individual video style but in this video I'm really just going to elaborate on the movie style video and really just go over how to best plan and execute one of those videos. Now I've outlined various steps here which we go through here at Social Genie. So we first define the storyline or the story arc, which I'll go over in a minute. Then we go on to storyboarding. Then we analyze what camera angles we can use to provoke a certain emotion in B-roll, which is the secondary footage which you get. Then we do the scripting, voiceover, stage directions. We think about the crew. So how many videographers will we need? Will we need somebody on the sound? Will we need a creative director? Then we think about actors, models, presenters, which people will be involved in the video. We also think about what equipment we might need. How many microphones do we need? How many lights? How many cameras do we need? It also makes sense to think deeply about the location. What are the noise levels like at the location? What's the lighting like at the location? Do you have access to the location or do you need to book the location in advance? 
And then of course you need to think about dates and times in order to coordinate and get everybody together at the same time in the same place. Okay, so now let's dive into the storyline or the story arc planning process for your marketing video. So you've got to think about what is the emotional journey which you want to take your audience on and take them on this journey through camera angles, through scripting and through different scenes. One of my favorite story styles is from pain point to solution. Now you might say this has been overdone or it's a little bit cheesy, but believe me guys, it works every single time. So we use the same process for our physio client. I was in the video and I had a bad back at the start of the video. We went through the client process and then by the end of the video, I was dancing around all happy, boxing, etc. Very active. So you can see that was the customer journey of which we want to take the customers of that service on. We want to take them from pain to relief and ultimately happiness. But you can apply this to many other different types of businesses. Here's a brief overview of a general story arc. So you have a setup, you have an inciting incident, rising action, some, some type of climax, success or failure, full in action, and then a resolution. Now there's also the hero's journey. So usually you have a hero, he has a call to action, he meets a mentor, crosses a threshold, defeats some type of evil person, and then gets a gift and returns. Now, of course, this is not Lord of the Rings, guys, but um, it still helps to have these story arc frameworks in your mind. There's also the Cinderella story arc. So obviously she starts off very negative. She's cleaning for her sisters, I believe. And then she meets the prince, very positive. And then she loses the prince, negative. And then the prince gets the glass slipper and positive again. So um, that story arcs. But it's funny how so many movies and films follow these exact story arcs. We've got rags to riches. So negative to positive, man in the hole. So it's positive to negative to positive, riches to rags. So uh, positive to negative. Um, of course, I've mentioned the Cinderella. So once you've chosen your story arc, your next step will be to go onto storyboard the actual scenes and ideas. Now, generally, I'd suggest with marketing videos to keep them as short as possible, ideally around one minute long. So we're not making an entire Hollywood movie here. So you really won't need to go into too much detail and make too many different scenes, but it still helps to potentially storyboard out even each individual angle if you really want to define exactly what you want to record. So for example, here's a simple storyboard. You start out with a wide shot of the building, which we like to use quite a lot to give people an overview of where the location is. Then we go into more detail into different parts of the storyline. Now, with a storyboard, you can even put on certain types of shots, maybe certain implement some parts of the script and wording here to really just try and visualize, which is the key to visualize exactly what you're trying to achieve. So I usually have a vision in my mind of exactly the video which I want to achieve before I even start and get on set and actually start recording the video with our team of videographers. So you've got your goals, you've got your setup, You've got your storyboard, you've got your story arc. Now you need to go on to defining the camera angles in order to achieve each of those scenes and provoke each of those emotions in your audience. Now I'm only gonna go over a brief overview of these camera angles, but they are quite interesting. So I mentioned the long or wide shot. We always like to start with one of those to give people an overview of where they are. Or if it's a product shot, start with maybe the product inside the box and then it opens up. And basically there are many different types of shots, but the simple rule is a close-up shot, say a close-up shot of a person's face, usually provokes emotion, so builds an emotional connection with that character. So for example, you can have a low angle shot to depict power dynamics. So you can see this in the movie, The Matrix. You've got the agents here and then Keanu's on the floor and really that does help to depict the power dynamics. You can also have the same thing the other way around, so a high angle shot to present superiority. Other types of shot, you've got the cowboy or hip level shot. So this is from the waist height. Often used if a character is going towards their hip, their pocket, Usually, obviously, in Westerns, they're going for a gun. But that's today's video, guys. I've tried to give you an extensive overview of all the different elements that go into actually producing a exceptional video marketing solution. But if you guys do need help with that, you're thinking, okay, Ben, that sounds interesting, but it sounds like a hell of a lot of work and there's a lot of thought that goes into it and you do need help with that, 
then feel free to reach out to us. Check out our contact details in the description below. If you did find value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Helps out tremendously with the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to join the digital marketing family by hitting that subscribe button, turning that notification bell on. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an incredible day and I'll see you in our next video. Keep growing.